welcome back to another episode of Tastefully Balanced. I'm Miriam, and as you can already tell, I am outside. It's super beautiful. So I figured why not do a what I eat in a day snow edition video. So if you guys like these types of video, please subscribe and keep watching. Mm. Good morning! So before I start my snow day adventure, which includes trying to go for a walk in the snow and really enjoy the snow, maybe grab something to eat, breakfast or coffee, but before I do any of that, drink some celery juice. So I need to make a fresh batch. And then I have apple cider vinegar, lemon juice, and some water, and I just chug that. So anyways, those are the first two things I do as soon as I wake up, so let me show you guys. <laughs> Guys, I am done juicing. Here it is in all its glory. Um, let's see, this made about 20 ounces, which is usually how much I get out of two batches of it. I usually buy a bigger bag from Costco, but Costco was all out. Stir that all up. Okay. I usually have about eight to 10 ounces. I like to have this start my morning off and just kind of take it slow. One thing though that I have made sure to do is have this on an empty stomach and that definitely is key. Usually if it's a regular day, not a snow day, I will have it right after I'm done working out. Cheers. Mm. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna enjoy this and start off my morning. All right guys, I've had my celery juice and I decided to go for a walk. So we are walking to Starbucks. I'll probably get some coffee or something to eat, but whatever I end up doing, I will let you guys know. guys Seattle gets about five inches of snow and things like Starbucks is closed <laughs> all right all right where should we go next all right guys so that was a bust but everything was closed so we weren't able to get anything and yeah, even Starbucks, McDonald's, everything. <laughs> so that is what happens when it snows in Seattle. Back home now and I'm going to just make some breakfast. So I have some perfect feeling avocados. I got avocados a few days ago from Costco. They were really hard so I stuck them in my pantry. So in a dark place, whatever that is, but it's nice and soft so I can go ahead and cut into this. So I think I'm just gonna have some avocado toast. And actually, since I haven't had it yet, I'm gonna have my apple cider vinegar shot. Since it's been a little while since I've had the celery juice, I can have that. So. Let me go show you guys how I make that. Apple cider vinegar, of course, with the mother. That's all the probiotics at the bottom. So definitely the one you want to have. One tablespoon, two tablespoons, you know, whatever. <laughs> Just eyeball it. And then I've got a lemon. Really don't even want to squeeze it properly with my lemon squeezer. So I'm just going to burp. Good enough for me. And then I'm gonna add some water to this. Always use a straw when you're drinking this because the acidity from the apple cider vinegar can really do damage on your teeth. So let me add some water. All right, there you go. Cheers. Ugh. Still can't get used to this one's taste. Um, way rather have celery juice than this, but 
done. Now I can have my official breakfast. I'm starving. <laughs> wasn't able to have breakfast out this is still delicious so mm -mm 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 -mm. I love avocados I love jalapenos I love that crunch and that little spiciness to it so mm. so easy to make so, so filling, so tasty, spicy, perfect on a snow day. So anyways, I'm going to enjoy this while I warm up by the fireplace. So cheers to breakfast, guys. All right, guys, it's about lunchtime. I'm kind of hungry. We're actually having a pretty late lunch here. For lunch, I'm actually just heating something up. I went into Costco, I think two days ago, and this lobster bisque soup was on sale, so I decided why not try it out. It had pretty good ingredients, and there's about two servings in one little container that I got, so I figured my husband and I could just share a container of it with some bread or some croutons on top with maybe a side salad, but whatever I end up doing, I'll share that with you guys. Don't mind my hair, I just took a shower. I had an amazing bath, perfect self-care day. But anyways, I'm gonna show you guys what I have for lunch. go ahead and add a couple of these croutons not too many because it's pretty full already there you guys go yum doesn't that look so delicious it doesn't always have to be purely homemade as long as you have the right portion and you bulk it up by having, you know, extra veggies in it or in my case, I added some noodles. Mm. Oh, this is so perfect. This is so perfect on a snow day. It's nice and creamy and cheesy and mm, mm. I love lobster, so Ooh, there's like big chunks of lobster in here. Mm. Oh, this is so, so good. Mm. Okay, all right, I'm gonna enjoy this off camera. So you guys, if you have a chance to try out this Costco lobster bisque, highly recommend. So I just poured myself some of this mushroom. It's called shiitake mushroom crisp, lightly cooked and seasoned. And 
I think I read that it had garlic, onion, and some other spices in it, along with sea salt. And really, the ingredients are very simple. This is what it looks like. I picked it up from Costco. Delicious. And my husband loves it. Really doesn't even taste like mushrooms. It's just very crispy and satisfies that, you know, chips craving that you have. So, highly recommend. So, have a tiny little bowl of that. And then also I'm gonna have some Sunrise Energy Bar, one of these. And this is also very, very good ingredient wise. It's got, I'm just gonna leave out the organic part, but it's all organic. So they have organic in front of every single ingredient, but it's rolled oats, oat flour, cranberries, sunflower seeds, dried apples, raisins, flax seeds, quinoa, coconut, pumpkin seeds, chia seeds, cashews, cane juice, tapioca syrup, sugar, sunflower oil, olive oil, vanilla, tapioca flour, cinnamon, sea salt, and baking soda. So, you know, at least I can pronounce all the ingredients. Yes, there's oil, sugar, and that kind of thing, but still pretty, pretty good compared to the other bars that I've had. You can find it in kind of the bakery section. That's at least where I found it at my local Costco, but these are delicious, and I just love how real they taste, you know, like nothing processed, nothing artificial in them. And so I definitely recommend, and this is how big they are. So 150 calories for this much, I'm sold. So I like it. And so that's going to be my snack and I am going to have tea with it because what's better on a snow day than some tea or hot chocolate. I'm going to be having this uh, white rose Numi organic tea. I'm gonna have my little snack and enjoy it in front of the fireplace. dinner time so I'm gonna see what I can make for dinner we don't really have anything left over and tomorrow is Sunday which would be my usual meal prep day so nothing ready to go so I'm gonna have to make something you guys already know that I've been recently super obsessed with this shirataki noodle thing and I got this it's a little package and it is a tofu shirataki ramen so spicy miso is the flavor that I got I'm gonna have this for dinner because I bought this from Wajimaya. I don't know if other places have it. They probably do. Two servings in here, 140 calories per serving. I do think I'm gonna top it off with an egg though, just for added protein. Here is dinner, yum. So this is a very, very filling dinner, but yum. And then of course I added some red chili, so it's gonna be nice and spicy. Mm. Miso base is just so, so good. Let's taste the beautiful. Mmm, honestly, it's a little bit lighter than regular ramen, but you really don't miss it. So, this is good. So delicious, so hearty, so warm. Perfect, perfect way to end this snow day. All right, there you guys go. That is my What I Eat in a Day Snow Edition video. As you can probably already tell, snowing in Seattle is quite a big deal. We don't get it often, and people refer to this as snowmageddon or snowpocalypse, so it's quite a big deal here. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a fun video, it was fun to shoot, and it was fun to kind of play around in the snow and act like a kid again. So if you guys love to see What I Eat in a Day, please comment, like, share, and subscribe. And as always, live life tastefully balanced.